Hello, my name is uh, Brian Kinney Thompson. I want to talk today about some of the desires that I have for my future and uh, my overall career. For a long time, I've been interested in anything that has to do with art and creativity. I grew up on a, a farm in the Rocky Mountains, and I even uh, raised actual farm animals like cows and sheep and pigs. Uh, being outside of a modern city didn't really do a lot of wonders for my exposure to modern artwork. It wasn't until I was in high school that I moved down to Florida and began to see a lot more um, creative outlets for myself. I always excelled at art, and when I was a teenager, I began to find interest in different types of art. Some examples are uh, Georgia O'Keeffe and uh, Raymond Swanlin. Uh, with more interests like these, great artists, it um, doesn't come as a surprise to me that I have a great desire to continue along an um, artistic path. And... Um, I spend a lot of time learning to digitally paint in Photoshop and use modern tools that are available for me, uh, which is something you have to keep up with in this day and age. Um, so keeping that in mind, I wanted to read a quote from our mastery textbook that really grabbed me. Uh, so here goes. Um, the misery that oppresses you lies not in your profession, but in yourself. What man in the world would not find his situation intolerable if he chooses a craft or an art, indeed any life form, without experiencing an inner calling? Whoever is born with a talent, or to a talent, must surely find in the most pleasing of occupations. Everything on this earth has difficult sides. Only some inner drive, pleasure, or love can help us overcome obstacles, prepare a path, and lift us up out of the narrow circle in which others tread out their anguished, miserable existences. This is a, a quote from uh, Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, and uh, was from our mastery textbook. To me, this really meant to go out and do something that you love. Art is what I love. So with this in mind, I wanted to choose one of the five strategies that we read about uh, to go over. The one that struck out to me the most out of the five was avoiding the false path. And I can tell you that I fell into this um, 100%, um, that my false path is customer service. I fell into it after high school and after the past uh, 16 years, Every job that I've had is um, highly customer service driven and based. And I realized I do it just to get by and to pay for a car and an apartment so that I can continue to work. And it's just kind of like a vicious cycle. And um, it, it's something that I'd like to break out of going into um, design and finding something more that I love. And so that I don't go over my time, I'll just touch on the type of dream career that I like. I honestly don't want excessive amounts of money or fame. All I want is a career that makes me, you know, smile and happy at the end of the day and um, makes me kind of self-fulfilled and brings me a lot of joy. Uh, I love to travel and experience new things. Maybe a career as a digital artist would give me that. And uh, so that's what my dream would be. To begin to achieve this, I guess I would need to find someone who is already a master in this kind of field and uh, to kind of teach me some techniques and uh, just about the industry overall, and I think over the next few weeks I should uh, start trying to locate someone and, and really achieve that goal. I think I might be out of time. Thanks for your, uh, for watching.